First up, we'll go to Kevin McGrand, Toronto Star. Go ahead, Kevin. Mitch, what do you think happened in the second half of the series from game five on? Did you guys take your foot off the gas? Did you not make the right adjustments after they made adjustments to you guys? Like what, what in your mind do you think went wrong? Um, I mean, I think uh, the start of the series, we're scoring goals first and second, majorly in the second. Uh, I thought in the last couple of games, we didn't do that. We Our second period was our best period for a lot of the games and really the last two or three, we weren't so. Um, you know, we're a team that uh, excels with the lead and we didn't get the lead uh, once going in the last, last couple of games. So um, playing from behind and obviously our desperation was high. We, we made the plays to get back in games and take it over time, but just couldn't get it done. Next up, we'll go to Jonas Siegel with The Athletic. Go ahead, Jonas. Hey, Mitch, what's it like handling the pressure to produce as the series kind of moves along there? Is it, is it a lot to, to kind of feel that out? Uh, I mean, I think uh, Austin and I, many other guys, um, especially come playoff time, you want to be the guy to go to and the guy that can lead the team out of a uh, you know, series. And um, we had multiple looks every single game. It just seems like it's a thing that's not going in. So um, really no excuse. Uh, you want that puck to go in the net, create a chance that it didn't go in the net. Um, that's, you know, that's kind of what it comes down to. Next up, we'll go to Chris Johnston, Sportsnet. Go ahead, Chris. Just to follow up on that, Mitch, did you feel that you guys were creating enough of the quality chances you would need, and, or would you like maybe some better looks? I have no idea how we've go through it, but, I mean, I felt like in every game we had at least a couple grade A chances right in front of the net that just rolled off a stick, um, shot it too early. Uh, Got to have more just patience with the puck but uh you know even tonight i thought we were around the net we had opportunities just didn't go in again and it seems like it's always the same stuff saying so um we know we got to be better and obviously you take a lot of pressure on yourself to try and be better and want to be better so um it's disappointing and the last two here we'll go to steve simmons toronto sun go ahead steve Mitch, do you think it, it got in your head at all um, not having a goal in the series, not scoring in your last 18 playoff games. That's a long time for a player of, of your quality to go without that. Once again, I had a lot of looks, a lot of nets that were empty that I just didn't put it into. So, um, like I said, I put a lot of pressure on myself to be the best player every single night. Um, you know, I felt that uh, wasn't living up to me, my own standards and just got to make sure that uh, – Stops happening. And the last one here, we'll go to Josh Clipperton, Canadian Press. Go ahead, Josh. Mitch, Jack was very emotional just now. Um, he's blaming himself, calling it the worst goal of his career on, on, the, on the Gallagher goal. Can you just talk about, about him as his play in, in you know, the season, this playoffs, and then sorry how he, he, he raised his game, uh, even though he's so disappointed right now? Um, soup's the reason we were where we are. Um, However many wins it was in a row, setting a record. There's been a lot of really talented goalies go through this league, and for him to set a record, for him to come in every game, be with how good he was, um, compete back there. Uh, it's not easy, you know, being a goalie, and especially in this market. So none of the blame's on him at all. Um, we win as a team, we lose as a team. It's, it's, it's a terrible time right now, obviously. Um, but uh, no one's... No one's blaming Soupy at all. Soupy's been the MVP of our last half of the year, and he's the reason why we were where we were. Thanks, Mitch.